Hey Magical Sparks! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Sparkle here and today's video is going to be a Q&A slash 2023 Meet the Artist style video. And for anyone who's stuck with me for quite a long time, you might remember how the first ever video I posted on my channel was actually a Meet the Artist style video. And it's been a long time since I made that video and obviously I've grown as a person, my channel has grown, my art has grown. So I think it's only fair to make a new and updated one for 2023. And while I'm working on that digitally i'm also going to be answering the questions that you guys asked me from my community post and i'm going to be trying to get around to answering as many questions as i can which is why this video is going to be a little bit more longer than my videos usually are in the last q a i did i also had enough time to organize my questions into different sections like youtube art and personal stuff but this time i have gotten so many many questions that i can't really organize them because that's gonna take me ages so i'm just gonna like go ahead and answer all these questions in a really random order but you know what just stick with me and let's see how this goes all right so starting it off we have the best question in the world which is does pineapple belong on pizza and in my opinion i would say 100 percent yes it does the next question is how many original characters do you have well i'm assuming about five that I can remember off the top of my head but um, other than that I probably do have more but just like I haven't given them proper names or stories yet so that's that and the next question is what's your favorite color my favorite color is purple but I also like coral pink and aqua green the next question is what's your favorite art supply my favorite art supply as of now are alcohol based markers specifically from the brands Ardex and Ahuru but back in the day I used to love drawing with charcoal surprisingly and charcoal pencils and after that I used to love using watercolors but like as of now I just love 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 using markers a lot because they're so satisfying and they're so easy to clean up as well okay what app do you use to edit your thumbnails I use Procreate and sometimes other apps, but when I use other apps, I usually try to mention them in the description of my video as well. Okay, so what inspired you to start art? What inspired me to start art was just the fact that I just love drawing things and at first I mainly drew for the sake of getting recognition because, you know, like obviously as a kid who was drawing a lot of stuff, a lot of people would say, you know, good job and all that to me. But after a point, it became less about what other people said and more about just how making art felt for me and just like how much I love the process of creating something from nothing. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the reason I started making art was for the sake of recognition, but afterwards and even even up to now the reason why I continue making art is because it's just something I love and it just makes me feel like really free and happy and I don't know I just love it a lot next question do you think you will be continuing your art career well firstly I would like to clarify that as of now my art isn't a career it's just something that I do for fun but I mean if my art ever does become my career at some point in my future I would love that and I would definitely try to pursue it Next up, have you read the Land of Stories series? Well, my friend told me it was really good, so I did like pick up the book and I did start reading it, but like I had to stop at the beginning because my, I think I had my exams going on or something. So yeah, because of that, I couldn't get around to finishing it, but I guess I would be interested in checking out the book again and seeing what it's about exactly. The next question is, do you like K-pop? And um, I guess guess like i know what k-pop is obviously my friends love k-pop i have some friends who like are really obsessed with k-pop as well but i don't really get what the hype is about but i mean yeah in, as far as music goes k-pop is pretty good okay so this next question is pretty much along the lines of how did you reach the point where you were proud of even a simple sketch and what got you there so this is like a, one of those questions where you can't really answer it with like one word or even one sentence because there's no like specific point where you're going to be proud of everything you draw and there's no like specific year or time or age or anything because like we're all on our own different art journeys and for everyone it's going to be really different and what i personally think is that when you set a goal for yourself in art and then when you see yourself a couple of days later or a couple of months later even achieve that goal and and just like see how far you've come that's when you're probably going to be really satisfied with yourself and how much you've improved so for me the way that i find the joy to be happy with even a simple sketch is i compare it to where i used to be and how i've always wanted to get here and yeah that's pretty much how i kind of 
find that happiness. And the next question is, do you use references? Yes, I do use references. Sometimes when I do need help with how to draw poses or how to draw like hands or like different kind of things, I do use references and using references is not wrong. And personally, I think it's really important for people to start to understand the difference between using references to improve your own art versus like copying someone else's work and claiming it as your own. Like, I don't think using references is wrong. So yes, I do use references to help me draw some things as well. Okay, and the next question is what's your favorite or one of your favorite pieces of art ever? And that is going to be a little bit hard for me to just like point out from the top of my head. But from what I do remember, I think um, there was this one drawing that I made back during lockdown and I really, really loved how it turned out. It was like a piece that I did planning for beforehand and then I painted it and I just loved everything about it. I mean, looking back at it now, I can obviously see a bunch of mistakes. I mean, the proportions are off. Some things just look really weird. I could add shading in more places, but, but hey, I was a younger person back then and I wasn't at this level in my art journey and I just love the entire concept behind it and I was honestly really proud back then about how it turned out and I still do love it. By the way, in case you're wondering what it was, I will attach an image of it on the screen right now. The next question is how was your art journey? Well, I can definitely say that my art journey had a lot and I mean a lot of downs as well as some ups as well. I really did get to the point where I really really hated my art and there were multiple times where I wanted to give up. There were times where I did tear my drawings apart. There are times where I did make like really messy paintings because I was really angry with how nothing was turning out how I wanted it to look. I also like took sometimes like breaks that like lasted for months. I think there was a point where I took a break that even lasted for like a year or two and I mean every every journey has like different ups and downs my journey had a lot of downs but i mean following that there were lots of ups and i mean i'm really proud of where i am now and even though i did like get really disappointed and frustrated and i really wanted to give up i always managed to come back and make something better each time so i'm definitely proud of how far i've come and even though i am currently in an art block and just hating everything i'm making i'm still not going to give up this time and this time i'm going to make sure that things turn out differently and that by the time i get out of my art block i'm going to come out as a better person and as a better artist Next question is who helped you the most in your art journey? Well, definitely my parents. They were very supportive along the way and my friends as well. They have never said your drawing looks ugly or bad or even implied that it doesn't look nice in any way. Like no matter how trashy my art is, they're always the sweetest. They're always like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so pretty. I wish I had this like on my wall, like as a big painting. And they are like just so supportive. And then there were also my art teachers. They are all, or like they were all really, really nice. None of them were like rude or like, never. they never like talked in a way that put me down. They were always very supportive and encouraging. And, and along with that, there was also YouTube. There are like a lot of YouTubers on YouTube. Wait, what? <laughs> there are also like a lot of artists on YouTube who like really helped me to personally improve my art and start to look at art as something that's meant to be more fun, like than something that's meant to just add unnecessary pressure. And after a point, there came you guys who also really helped me to just keep on going and to just keep on jumping over all those hurdles with like just the support of all your sweet comments. But anyways, to answer that question of who helped me the most in my art journey, I'd say number one was definitely my parents and, and then second place would definitely go to my best friends and finally everyone else would definitely tie in third place. Next up, the next question is what has your favorite art style been so far? So I don't really know what my art style is called, I just like to call it like cartoonish in case someone asks me but I'd say my current art style is definitely my favorite art style. And the next question is what are your favorite materials to use? Like I said before, my favorite art supplies are markers, but like in terms of other materials, I like to use my sketchbook a lot. And I think if someone were to ask me if I prefer digital or traditional art, I'd probably say traditional because I just like using my sketchbook and being able to flip back through it. But digital is also really fun, which is why I decided to try digital today. Next question, what's your favorite part about drawing slash making art? 
Um, currently, I'd say that my favorite part as of right now is the drawing process because that's when I get to be really creative and I get to make mistakes and erase them, but like try out different things and just like kind of be more free. But if you asked me the same question a couple of months ago, I probably would have said the coloring part because it's like really satisfying. But you know what? It keeps changing all the time. So I guess the next thing I'm probably going to say is line art. I mean, who knows? Anyways, following that, the next question is, do you have any big plans for your channel? And the short answer to that would be no, because I haven't really thought about anything yet. But if I do ever think about any big plans for my channel, you guys will probably be the first people to know. Okay, the next question is, what's your favorite type of video to film? Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest here. I don't like filming tutorials because there's just like so much added pressure and I just don't like that need to have to be perfect. And I don't like filming um, the five ways to fill your sketchbook video because like while it is nice, it's actually really stressful on me. And I don't like filming art challenges as well because I, I mean like I do like doing art challenges. I just don't like filming art challenges because sometimes the drawing just doesn't turn out how I would have liked it and I don't like being unsatisfied with my art but then kind of being forced to post it because I didn't really have a choice or anything so I would say that my favorite types of videos to film are just those relaxing drawing in my sketchbook videos because then there's like less pressure on me and I just find it really relaxing and personally satisfying for myself and just adding on to that personally I don't like editing videos that are longer than 10 minutes because I feel like 10 minutes is the perfect time for me to both edit a video and then also record a voiceover because it's just less time consuming but like as you can see the video that I'm doing now it's like really really long and because of that it's just like adding more pressure on me to both do the editing and record the voiceover because this is taking me quite a long time but hopefully it's worth it the next question is at what age did you start getting into drawing i think i was about like three years old when i started to get into drawing and when i say drawing i mean like making scribbles but in my mind that still counts as art the next question is what coloring art supplies would you recommend for beginners who are just starting art if you're someone who's just starting art i'd probably say try go with watercolors because they're actually quite good and uh, they're just like more affordable as well but if you are someone who is willing to invest and is really willing to just get something that's really fun to use, I'd say go ahead and try using markers. But personally, I wouldn't suggest investing in Copics until you just feel comfortable with using markers. So maybe just invest in other brands like Uhuru or Artex. And then when you're feeling comfortable with using markers, then maybe just go ahead and make the investment with bigger brands like Copic if you want to. And the next question is, if you have three wishes, what would you wish for and why? So this question is actually one that I've ran over my mind a couple of times. And I've always like thought about myself in a scenario where I found like a genie's lamp and I just like could have the chance to wish for three different things. And I already have an answer prepared in case I do ever end up meeting a genie someday, which I know it's not going to happen, but you know what? Fingers crossed. But um, I'm not going to share that answer here because it's like slightly more on the personal side. But I will still be trying to answer this question in a more of a art related context. So let me just try and rephrase it. If I was an artist and I had three wishes about art, what would I wish for? In that case, I would probably end up wishing for all the art supplies I could ever wish for. Secondly, I would wish that um, I would never ever have to face an art block ever again. And thirdly, I would wish that everyone would be able to find the joy of creating art and that all beginner artists like don't ever feel the need to give up and that everyone just learns to admire their work of art without having to feel the need to compare themselves with others. And and I guess that's pretty much what I would wish for. The next question is, what do you recommend for beginners to draw? I'd say try just drawing anything you like drawing. Like if you're someone who likes to draw animals, draw animals. If you like drawing people, draw people. Or if you like to draw other stuff, then draw other stuff. Just draw whatever makes you happy because as a beginner artist, there is nothing more important than just, than just being able to fall in love with the process of creating something new. The next question is, which video did you enjoy making the most? I'd say that video would probably be the video where I did like this mini collaboration with my dog and I let him pick out different kind of prompts and then I designed like an original character based off the prompts he gave me and that would be my favorite video ever on my channel for sure. And honestly, I would be super duper happy to turn that into a series. So let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing a second video like that. Also, the next question is, which video did you learn the most from? 
I think I learned the most from the video where I talked about like why hating art is a good thing because like that just like really helped me to understand why hating my own art is also a good thing for me and I mean like while I was trying to get my own message across it kind of just also helped me to realize why it's a good thing. Next up, what do you like to draw and why? I like to draw people and the reason why I like to draw people is because I've always loved designing clothes and just like doing fashion design stuff so like drawing people kind of just allows me to be free with like the way I draw hair and the way I draw clothes and even though like it's really hard to go shopping and find an outfit that you have in your mind it's much more easier to just like draw that outfit out and like just draw a character wearing it and just like kind of bring it into reality so that's why I love drawing people and next up how long did you practice for to be this good at art <laughs> firstly thank you secondly uh, like I said before I've just been drawing a lot throughout my entire life I wouldn't say I've been drawing every single day since I could hold a pencil but I have been drawing a lot ever since I could learn how to hold a pencil and I guess like all this improvement is just like stuff that's gradually happened over time and none of this improvement happened all at once it definitely took me a lot of years and a lot of days of like learning hating my art then falling in love with the process again and it's just a journey with a lot of ups and downs and the next question was also how did you get so far in drawing which i think kind of just relates back to what i just said and the next question after that is what is the name of your style like i said i don't really have a specific name but i like to call it cartoonish in a way and next up when your art style isn't looking the way you want it to or how it was looking before how do you fix it well with me i personally don't worry about making sure my art style is consistent because i just like kind of draw what's on my mind and in the end like if it's something that you really enjoy drawing it's going to probably end up looking consistent but um when my art style isn't looking the way i wanted to what i used to do is i used to like really do a lot of studies to find ways to make my art style look consistent but now i've just kind of stopped doing that and i kind of just draw whatever i want to and change my art style to suit the drawing that I'm making and I feel like in a way the fact that I'm worrying less about my art style has actually like helped me to improve my art style so maybe try doing that. The next question is what helps you think of inspiration for your art? Um, I don't think I can answer this question right now because I'm in an art block and I'm lacking inspiration but I guess like usually I don't know like I just usually get ideas like there's no specific way I get them I just like either think about things in real life or something I saw on TV or in a magazine or just like um, on YouTube or something and usually those kind of things spark inspiration within me but like I said I'm in an art block right now and I really just don't know what I'm saying <laughs> Do you have any tips for beginners? I'd say my biggest tip is to make sure that you understand why you're creating art in the first place and try not to get too caught up in comparing yourself with others because that's just not a really good thing to do. Instead, just try and compare yourself with yourself and just see how far you've come and just be proud of how much you've improved over the past, I don't know, the past span of time you've been drawing and make sure that you never stop being proud of yourself because, I mean, you've come so far and just be really happy with how far you've come and make sure you never forget how amazing it is to draw and create something new. Next up, did you ever take any type of art class? Well, I did do art in school because it was compulsory and also because it was fun but other than that, I haven't done any kind of art class outside of school. Next up, what are your hobbies other than drawing? Well, I love singing, dancing and you'll probably see some other things when I fill in the likes section of my Meet the Artist page but until then, stay tuned. And next up, are you self-taught? Well, I don't really know what to say because the thing is, I did learn art in class, right? But no one actually taught me how to draw the way that I'm currently drawing. The things that we learned in class were more about how to make a specific drawing of things like a horse, how to sculpt specific things with clay, and just learning about color theory and stuff. But the style I currently have is one that I've personally developed on my own. So to answer that question, I would probably say yes, I have taught myself, but in a way I also kind of didn't because I did get help from others and I did like learn other things along the way from what others did teach me. So I guess that is a question that you guys can decide for yourself. Next up, will you be doing a face reveal soon? um sure this is my face no i'm kidding but um i am actually not planning on doing a face reveal as of now but maybe in the future i could do one possibly i don't know we'll see how it goes okay we'll see what the future holds when the future arrives next up what's your favorite book slash book series definitely the harry potter series and do you have any favorite movies or tv shows for movies i would say also the harry potter movies they're so good and i also love 
the new Angry Birds movies. They are just so hilarious and amazing. And for TV shows, don't get me started, but I do love Lost in Space, Manifest, The Umbrella Academy, Blacklist. All these things are really good. Do you have a drawing that you're really proud of? In brackets, it doesn't have to be your favorite or the best. In that case, I would probably say that my favorite drawings are all the drawings in my old sketchbooks because even though I don't like them, I kind of love them at the same time because like, like what I'm trying to say is I don't like how those drawings turn out, but I do love like the thought process I had when I was making those drawings and just the memories they hold. So probably all the drawings in my old sketchbooks. The next question is when you're in between working in the middle of an art piece and you suddenly just lose inspiration or motivation to finish it, how do you get that inspiration slash motivation to come back? Well, um, I'm currently stuck in the same situation because I really don't have any motivation or inspiration to draw and everything I'm drawing just doesn't look good in my eyes and I'm constantly feeling frustrated. But from prior experience, the feedback I can give is that sometimes all you need to do is just give it a break and just like actually step away from drawing for a while, which is what I'm currently doing. I haven't actually drawn in 10 days at all. I haven't like gotten a pencil and drawn even a single face or anything, which is why even on my shorts channel, I haven't like uploaded any drawing for my um, drawing eyes for 30 days challenge yet because I'm in an art block and I'm officially taking a break away from making art. And this drawing that I made right here that you can see me making was one that I made yesterday and that's actually when I went ahead and picked my pencil back up again. And this drawing was the very first drawing that I made after taking my 10 day long break. And taking a break for me is a good thing because it kind of just helps me to come back with an open mind and I just like feel more refreshed and I have like more ideas. And maybe that might help you guys as well, but if taking a break doesn't help, then I'm sure there are other ways as well. But, but off the top of of my mind this is the best way that i can think of as of now but i'm sure you could also try other things as well like art challenges or like trying different drawing ideas and hopefully that just might help you get back into the groove of it again or you could even try redrawing old drawings the next question is, do you think it's okay to start a drawing channel on YouTube even when you think your art is not that good yet? Um, I mean, that's what I did. My art isn't that good. It wasn't that good either. And I still decided to start a YouTube channel and just like share it with the world. And I feel like a good thing about YouTube is that you get to see your personal growth along the way as well. And it's just really fun. Like you don't have to worry about your art being perfect. And the community on YouTube is just really sweet and kind and supportive. So that's pretty much what I did. I thought I could like finish getting through all the questions in this video and then like start to talk about this drawing. But like there are still so many questions to get through. So I'm just gonna like start talking a bit faster now. What are your favorite things to watch on YouTube? I love to watch drawing videos and I love to watch videos about animals as well because animals are very cute. The next question is, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animals are dogs and I also love cats as well in case you're wondering but dogs are my most favorite animals ever and I just love all animals and I just, I don't know, animals are just the cutest things ever. Following that, the next question is do you have any pets? And the answer to that is yes, I have one very cute dog. And the next question is, how do you get the motivation to keep on going even if you feel like you aren't getting any views or likes? Well, for me personally, I don't really worry too much about the views or likes. For me, what I mostly focus on is whether I'm putting out my best content and whether it's making me happy. Like, I mean, obviously when I started on YouTube, it's not like I had 40,000 subscribers from day one. No, I had like 10 subscribers first when I was starting off and then it's, it's obviously not that nice to know that you're putting so much effort into something that's barely getting any views or likes. But at the same time, what I decided to do was I decided to stop focusing on views and likes. And instead, I decided to just like use YouTube as a way for me to just put out my art and keep a record of my art journey and just make content that's just fun for me to watch by myself as well. And I guess I kind of just grew from there. Next up, what's your favorite color palette? I love any color palette that has the color purple or pink in it because I think they are just amazing colors. What's your favorite drawing to make? Uh, probably drawing eyes because I just, it's really easy and that's why I draw eyes anytime I'm bored or like pretty much in like all of my books, even my school books as well. Next up, do you take breaks while you are trying to finish a drawing? Um, usually when I'm drawing, I do not take breaks. I like to just like get the drawing done in one sitting. Same with when I'm recording for YouTube, but when it's like something that's a bit more complicated like a bigger drawing or like a larger project or even if I'm trying to draw something more realistically then I do tend to take breaks and work on it in small sections but usually I don't oh and also when I'm doing digital art I do like to take breaks in that case because 
I don't like staring at my screen for such a long time so yeah I feel like it's a good idea to take breaks how long does it usually take you to finish your drawing I never time myself or check the time but I'm assuming around an hour to two hours for a normal drawing sometimes if it's just a sketch probably like less than half an hour as well but when I like bunch all my YouTube footage together, usually the footage that I have to edit ends up being one and a half hours. So yeah, I guess that's within the range. The next question is what type of markers do you use for skin tones? I again use alcohol based markers and when it comes to skin tones, I prefer using my Huhu skin tone set. And the next question is how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Um, do you hate art sometimes? Yes, I do tend to hate my art sometimes, but every time I hate my art, I do end up learning something from it. And the next question is, what is your favorite drink? Um, I guess Sprite. Sprite is pretty good. And the next question is, what is your favorite food? I guess I love noodles and dumplings a lot. And what is your favorite fruit? I would say it changes all the time, but right now I love pineapples a lot. <laughs> Okay, and the next question is, how did you learn to draw? I took it step by step and I kind of just learned, I guess. I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> okay, by the way, I'm just gonna like, just put it out there. Like, I sat down to record this voiceover and guess how long I've been recording it. Like for you guys, it's just been 25 minutes and 27 seconds on the dot. But for me, I have been sitting down here and recording this voiceover for one and a half hour. So guys, don't ask me to make a long video like this again. It is so time consuming. <laughs> I mean, I probably might end up making another one if this video does well as well. But I, I just like shorter videos. They're just so much easier to work on. I mean, one and a half hour and I still have to like rewatch this and edit other stuff as well and upload it. Oh my goodness. But anyways, let me see if I can fit in one more question. And that question is going to be, do you name your characters? And the answer to that is sometimes yes, if they are original characters. Anyways, I tried to get through as many of your questions as I could. And I'm sorry if I couldn't get through them all. But thank you so much to everyone who did comment down a question. And anyways, here is how the final drawing turned out. I mean, I guess it's okay. I could have spent more time on it. But again, it's just the art block. I just don't want to draw. But hopefully I'll get out of it soon. And anyways, I hope you guys like how this drawing turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A video as well. I think I might make an updated one next year, but we'll see how it goes. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Magical Sparks!